Okay, so I've heard people have like been saying that like um sort of like a fillion being problematic. I've not actually ever looked into the fillion stuff before. Um, so I'm not. So I think it's. I think this is because Doki did a collab with Fillion. I've never actually looked into what exactly Fillion has like done or um, said before. If it any, I mean, she said it's like problematic in any way. But um, Doki Bird supporters demand apology. Now, my sort of thing about like this whole thing, like quote unquote. Doki Bird supporters. I don't really know because of just how like widespread and and and, and like massive the whole Doki Bird sort of thing is. Some of her supporters, I don't really think, are like innately her like actual fans who are going to be like here long term. I think it's more of they're just supporting her more because of the situation. You know. Um, Fillion said a joke about being breathtaking and named a black person getting choked. What? That sounds like... I'm, but they were taking another look over that, at Doki Bird because... What? So my headset disconnected. Because unfortunately, she has lended herself into a bit of fire with people saying that they're not going to be supporting her anymore due to a collab she recently had. This being the collab with Fillion, where Doki Bird made this tweet saying, I'll be doing a Hot Ones collab with Fillion is lost on her Twitch channel. Submit some topics you want us to discuss while we eat some spicy wings here. Yes, they are the official Hot Ones sauces, by the way. I'm scared. And this received replies from people saying, never mind, we drama posting for one more. Imagine getting the most goodwill I have ever seen this community pour out together over one person only to immediately collab with known racist and NFT slash AI art shill Fillion. Holy shit, like come- NFT slash AI art shill. Come on, we were rooting for you. Another one saying, God damn, this is kind of disappointing to see, especially since Doki is an artist herself and prides herself on supporting artists and Fillion is a big AI art supporter and also problematic in many ways. Is, is she? Is, is she? I've never, I've never heard of, I've never seen Fillion like supporting um, AI art before. And, and okay, in my opinion, um, with, I don't want to go in the whole like conversation AI art, but the, the with for me um it just depends on like the circumstances of how ai art is used i don't think ai art like inherently is a bad thing it it just very much so matters in the way that you use it i think like in the sense of like if you're using ai art for reference then i think that to me that's okay but like you know to like post AAR on Twitter and like post like AI fan art and and those sort of things then I don't necessarily um agree with that is something that I'm not really um because I I feel like the I think like fan art done by proper people deserve the traction more than um AI art and initially it's like well okay well you're not really doing the actual work it's just ai and then you can post ar on twitter and essentially get like thousands and thousands of likes and that i feel like takes away the potential growth and um opportunity that actual artists could be getting if that makes sense like say like um doki's like doki's like um fan art tag right if you make this really amazing ai art and you post her art tag, well, and because it's it's amazing, it looks incredible because it's AI art, obviously, that might get like thousands and thousands of like, like 10,000, 20,000 likes, and that could potentially um, hurt some of her, like, you know, some of the actual fan artists in the sense of like, oh, well, what about these these likes and, and, and um, the reward for their work gets taken away by AI, instead of these actual artists who put their hard work into, you know, into these um, p pieces of art and, and pieces of work. That's inherently why I don't like fan art if it's used in the sense of, like, taking away from actual artists, right? If it's used to sort of, like, 
um, take potential reward or or potential, you know, opportunities from actual artists. That is where I don't like AI art. That's when I think AI art is bad when it's used to take take away from um, actual hardworking artists. Another set. This is what I don't like about Kyo vids. Most of them are nothing burgers. I agree with that. I I, I do agree with that. Um, it's it's hard in the sense of like um because he makes videos so consistently like when you have to make news videos or like you have to talk about a topic essentially like every day it sort of just makes sense that a lot of them may just be nothing burgers inherently but this is really disappointing to see especially after everything that happened Fillion is racist and pro ai this really isn't the collab you want dude another person saying definitely rubs me the wrong way that replies were automatically disabled for this tweet in particular and i can't think of any good reason why outside of the obvious and then we had this person pointing out the ai stuff kind of trying to provide proof about it saying hey don't oh. hate, i'm sure you mean no harm but Fillion is pro ai it's right on her profile it's a huge disrespect to artists and i'd like her to be held accountable and they show here i can definitely see um how but then i feel like um uh, but i feel like the sense the consensus of like if it's a different tag then is it really like because okay, because i feel like in the consensus right of separating the tags i think kind of negates that issue to a certain extent right because if you're separating the if you're separating the, the the ai to like the normal fan art then the the normal fan art will you you know the, the the fan art from the actual artists will be used in the affiliate art tag so then there would be like reward it's like inherently in the consensus of like um in this specific instance it's not really taking um anything away if that makes sense from like it, it does because it's it's in the sense of like okay at what extent is she quote unquote supporting ai art it's like this can be very like you're like generalizing it like does in this consensus of her like having an ai art tag does that mean that she supports a ai art as a whole does she support artists having you know ai art taking things away but i think that separate tags is a good thing because I, I see it as okay if it's separated then that's not really taking anything away from the actual fan artists who would make fan art for Fillion where Fillion has an AI art tag and you know where people are posting AI art in that tag and in regards to the art tag thing a lot of VTubers have an AI art tag so that people aren't posting AI art in their actual fan yeah, art yeah I think that makes complete sense I think it's a good idea so they aren't reposting it and you know using it for thumbnails so that they aren't directly supporting the use of AI art but they are allowing people who are going to use it no matter what they uh -huh. say to post it somewhere if they want to post images of them because no matter what you say people are going to use AI art and they're going to use AI art to make your oh, definitely in you. So why not create an art tag for them to post that in? That makes sense. Filling up your that makes complete sense to me. But now on the topic of the racism that people are claiming about Fillion, she made a joke back in 2022 that she immediately apologized for in the clip I'm about to show you. This clip is getting spread around and what people are using to call Fillion a racist. So here is that clip. Chat, think about it. I'm not the real streamer you guys are. You're breathtaking. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Chat, that was an epic quote from George Floyd. All right. Where's... Okay, that is that is not. Yeah, that is a. That is not a great joke. Damn. Do you want to something? No, not right now. All right. <laughs> was that edgy or not? <laughs> okay. Okay. Look. Okay. I feel like the word racist gets thrown around so easily. What do you think racism is? Like, hello? Like, racism is a, is a recurring behavior. It is something that is, like, actual prejudice, and I see it as hatred that you have inside of you, where it's a consistent behavior. It is not 
you make one joke that, you know, tr try to make an edgy joke that's sort of missed. Of course I'm not saying the joke was good, because, I mean, she apologized for it, so she obviously knew it wasn't a good joke, right? But the thing is, I'm not going to label somebody as a racist based off of one singular joke, because that's not racist. What somebody being racist is, is a recurring behavior. It is something that you, you know, it's a recurring thing. If she constantly made, you know, jokes about black people, anti-black people jokes, or anti-Asian jokes, or you I mean, made jokes at the expense of black people constantly on a recurring basis, then I would question that. But if the only thing you have is a single joke that she apologized for after because she realized it wasn't a bad, it was a bad joke, then I do not think that she's a racist. Because let's be fucking honest, okay? I'm not a perfect person. I've probably definitely said jokes in my in my life that have missed. Like we all we're all human. We all make mistakes. It's just the fact is it's streamed, and when you're a streamer. Everything that you say can be clipped. Can like, you know, imagine if, because you're not, if these people on Twitter who, who try to have the more up, like, more high ground and act like they're the fucking best people in the world. Well, if there was a fucking camera following you 24-7 and clipped everything that you said in your entire life, you've probably said something before in your life that probably wasn't the best thing to say. And then it gets clipped and shipped and, and... Um, you know, thousands of people comment on you. It's just, I, I just hate the fact that so many of these, like, Twitter people act like they're, like, the, the most, the best people ever, and that these, like, anonymous people online can judge and can act like they're, like, the most perfect of people. One singular joke on Twitter is not, um... The joke was about choking and not a race. You can change the person, the joke, for any infamous choked person. I mean, that is also fair, um, but I think just the cons the consensus and the weight of it being George Floyd, I think, and especially the, 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 the reasoning as to why they did it was innately racism. Um, you know, the cops were racist. Right, um, I can understand that consensus of it being labeled as potentially a racist remark, but like, yeah, even in the context of like, even if it was like a white person or someone of any race who was like, um, killed from police brutality, um, unfairly through choking, that is not, that is a, not the best joke to make. At making a joke at the expense of a deceased person is not a funny joke. So innately, you can also say, like, yeah, that that's not 100%, I can say maybe it's not 100%, like, make it say, or is it 100% a ra quote -unquote racist joke or anti-black joke? It's inherently, like, just a, a bad joke in the, in the sense of, like, you are joke, you're making a joke at the c expense of a deceased person who was killed by police brutality. No matter what the race of that person was, um, you know, making that joke of any kind from them can be, like, triggering and, and uncomfortable, and you have to be very careful when you make those kinds of jokes. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm sorry. That was a little... So, yeah, in that clip, Fillion immediately says sorry and apologizes for making the joke. So, that's the situation going on with Doki Bird. People saying they're not going to support her because she's, you know, collabing with Fillion, which is such a weird thing to do, just not supporting someone because they collab with someone that you don't like or don't agree with, and, you know, someone that you don't like because they made a joke two years ago. Okay, so somebody just... Look, people... People do this all the time. People never forget on the internet. People always hold things um, above you. And like we talk about like changing and, and taking accountability, but Twitter doesn't want anybody to take accountability. Like not Twitter doesn't want anybody to move on because they'll hold anything against you. 
ago i don't think people should be canceled or thrown off of the internet or lose their career for something that they said two years and ago or years ago especially if oh. in that same clip they said sorry about it but let me know what you all think about that situation down below. As moving on, we've actually got some good news today coming out from Whole Alive. With them tweeting out, the trophy of streaming awards has arrived. Congratulations again to our very own shark girl, Gura, for winning the VTuber category at Streamies. Huge congratulations again to Gura for winning the award for VTubers. Also, if you go- Okay, I don't want to be like, um, like rude or anything, but like, didn't Gura just like not stream like at all though? So how did she win? Like, she she literally, like, didn't stream. Like, this seems like the consensus of, like, um, the reward for, like, the reward for a VTuber from people who don't watch VTubers. Like, to me, inherently, I feel like this reward being given to Goa is from people who don't watch VTubers. Because it's like... No, no shade to Goa, but, like, she literally, like, didn't stream hardly at all. And, y you know? Go over to the news section that they linked in that post. They did say that they will be sending this over to Goa, which is really cool to see. I'm happy that Goa will actually be able to receive her award. In other whole live news, though, we also had Pekor tweeting out, It's Alive, posting a picture of her f***ing monkey. You know, people don't believe that Pekora bought a monkey, but she did. You should not let the situations going on distract you from the fact- Is that a monkey? I thought that's like a sugar glider. Is that a monkey? I, I thought that's like a- it looks like a sugar glider to me. That she owns a monkey and it's alive. Jill is super adorable and Pekora talked more about why she tweeted this out randomly in this clip here. なんか、ツイートがリツイートすんごい多いの見て、ええ、ジルくん生きとるよと思って。あ、これあれだな。そろそろジルくんの写真出さないと本当に死んだことにされると思って。あの、いつアライブって呟いたら、海外に来たちが
Iron Mouth also tweeted out new update. We have moved the time for the concert. The concert is now at 7 p.m. EST on February 29th. I hope to see you guys there. So Iron Mouth is going to be having a 3D concert Ooh. on February 29th at 7 p.m. EST. So make sure you mark your calendars for that if you want to check out the concert. This video alone looks amazing. Beep, beep. We also had Quinn tweeting out March with the eye emoji showing oh, off yeah. what looks to be a VTuber model. Quinn oh yeah, and I saw Quinn also saying he was going to stream on his um. He's gonna. He's he's going to have a uh, he's he's gonna be debuting on his second channel. So yeah, so it's it's kind of cool that so it seems like maybe one of the possibly maybe one of Quinn's um reasonings as to why he wanted to leave Niji maybe it's because he wanted to possibly implement like RRL stuff with VTubing because. He, he, I mean, because his v, his VTuber is on his, in real life Twitter, and the, the channel that his VTubing stuff is going to be on is a channel where, you know, all his in real life stuff is public, so his face is publicly known. So I'm wondering if that could have been one of his, like, reasons for, like, creative endeavors, or, like, why he wanted to leave, um, for, like, cr for doing stuff more creatively, in the sense of maybe he wants to do, like, wants to be a VTuber, but do, like, face cam content, kind of like what Koro is doing, or, like, implementing, like, in real life stuff with his VTuber persona. Quinn also has the word VTuber in their bio, which, you know, alludes to them being a VTuber now. If you don't know who Quinn is, you know, take one letter off of my name and there you go. You got, you got who Quinn might be. And to end this off, I want to look over at Mitsuaki who made a has-been hotel Charlie VTuber model. Okay, honestly, um, yeah, this really felt like a nothing burger. I mean, um, like, I don't think that, I, I don't know if this discourse of like saying like, oh my god, wow, Doki, you're horrible, was even, like, that big of, like, the... Like, was that, like, actually the... the big, like, consensus? Because this could still... Because inherently, um, this could be, a just, like, a minority of people, and then that's, like, and he makes news of that. But, like, is that actually the popular consensus? Is that, like, actually, like, a, a discourse, like, a lot of people are, quote-unquote, like... Um, not supporting Doki's. I'm pretty sure that most of Doki's fan base is not cancelling her for collaborating with Fillion. Like I, I, I don't think they are. So I don't. I like I, I don't. I feel like this is kind of a nothing burger. I, I kind of feel like it is. Um, but you know, like I said, I can't really fault Kyo. I mean, when he's making daily videos, like semi, like daily, one day, like two days, like inherently probably most of his news may just be nothing burgers. I mean, because I don't know what else he can really do to, like, make videos every day and have them genuinely be, like, um, actual, like, quote-unquote, new, like, proper newsworthy stuff all the time. But, um, yeah. So, like, let me know in the comments. I, I do not... I don't know if there's more clips... I guess there could be more clips of Fillion out there, but this if this is the only clip or the clip that they're sort of, like, um, pushing around saying, oh, Fillion's a racist, um, one joke, saying one joke that probably was out of line does not make you a racist, um, it doesn't, um, okay, does not, I think a lot of people have said jokes that they've missed, you know, tried to say edgy jokes that may have, um, crossed the line, and then those people are most likely not fan of Doki, probably also. They probably aren't fans of Doki also anyway. But um yeah, so thank you guys so much watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, please consider like and subscribe and join the channel for more VTR news. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!